Primark only sell through their shops. They don't sell online. They're not like ASOS and, and all the rest who seem to, to be done really well through lockdown. They only sell online. Uh, and over in the last 24 weeks, not months, 24 weeks, their sales are, are 1.5 billion down. But it means they're going to break even this year, which is phenomenal. Which means that the, the limited time that shops were open, they managed to sell in an inordinate amount of clothing, uh, which kept them afloat and means they're going to break even this year. And they really are anticipating from the 24th of April, 26th of April, whenever it is, a massive upsurge in people running into the shops to buy a load of fast fashion. Classic. And they're also hoping, Pete, for you, that fashion hasn't changed too much in the year as well. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, you can sell it's... some of their older stock. It's still sitting on the shelf. Um, I think I think that they're right. I think there's a lot of people who've been buying online, clearly, but buying online is a different experience. And to go into Primark or any other retailer and sort of rifle through the clothes and go into a training room and try it on there and then instead of buying nine different things and sending seven back, it's just a whole different experience. And as, as we've said the before theater, on the Robert, show... It's, it, it's the theatre of, of what fashion and absolutely. retail is all about. But... but to John's point, it's the fast fashion bit that is now changing as well. 